this is a video about interior and exterior angles in polygons. Um, you might, if you haven't already um, seen it, like to watch the first video I've just uh, entitled Introduction to Exterior Angles before this one, um, if you're at all unclear on any of the basic principles involved here. Um, the first bullet point here says that the sum of the exterior angles equals 360 degrees, and that's a, a principle I'm not going to discuss here. I'm just going to reiterate it right here. We've learnt already, um, if we're okay, if we're ready for this video, that, um, that then we already know that um, if you measure the exterior angles, the angles on the outside of any polygon, um, they will always add up to 360 degrees. No matter how many sides the shape has, the exterior angles always add up to 360 degrees. Um, we're going to take that for granted here. Uh, the red bullet point, 180N minus 360, the formula we'll talk about later. It can be helpful um, if you want to do all sort of formulas like uh, the formulas for finding the area of shapes that can be helpful to remember. Um, and the blue bullet point is um, just to reiterate the fact we're using this knowledge that we've got, this information um, that, that, that we're learning to to help us to um, learn to solve problems. Okay, let's just get straight into it. Um, here's, a, here's a problem. Um, at the top is part of a shape, part of a polygon. Not the whole thing. Um, we can't see the whole shape. Um, but what we've got is part of the shape being given to us and one of the exterior angles has been marked on there. And that's the information we've got in fact. One exterior angle of this shape is 30 degrees, and the only other thing we know about the shape is it's a regular polygon. In other words, all its angles and sides are equal. So this is a regular polygon. I should have written that perhaps here. Let's just say regular polygon. Okay, so all its sides and angles are equal. So if all the interior angles of the shape are equal, then the exterior ones are also equal. So, we use that first bit of information uh, from the previous page um, to help us here. If we know that all the exterior angles add up to 360 degrees, and we know that each one of these angles is 30 degrees, and if we find out how many 30s go into 360, that will tell us how many exterior angles there are, and therefore how many corners there are, and therefore how many sides there are. Okay, so, we take 360 and we divide it by, thir uh, by 30, um, well, I reckon 360 divided by 30, if I divide both those numbers by 10, is the same as 36 divided by 3. I know my 3 times table, don't I, because I'm past year 2 now, and I know that 12 threes make 36. So, I reckon our shape here has 12 sides, because I think that 12 lots of 30 will make will add up to 360 degrees. That's the first part answered. Um, pretty straightforward, hey? Pretty straightforward. Now then, part B, um, as is so often the case with questions like this um, that you get in tests, part B follows on quite neatly from part A, and we can use that answer to help us. Um, part B reads, what is the sum of its interior angles? The mass word sum refers to um, what you get when you add something together, add, add two, two or more things together. So the sum of the shape's interior angles will be what you get when you add all the interior angles together. Interior is inside, exterior is outside. So we're talking here about all the angles on the inside of our shape. And so our first answer helps us here, doesn't it? We now know that there are 12 sides and therefore 12 interior angles. Um, can we use that um, 30 degrees at the top to help us find the size of the interior angle here? Well, yeah, we can because we know that the exterior angle and interior angle at any point in our polygon are on a straight line. And we know that angles on a straight line add up to 180 degrees. Well done. So if the exterior angle here is 30 degrees, then the interior angle must be 180 minus 30, which is 150 degrees. So I think that means then, this being a regular polygon again, that all the interior angles of our shape are going to be equal to 150 degrees. So what will the sum of the interior angles be? Well, if each one is 150 degrees and there are 12 of them, we need to do 150 times 12. And you might have your own way of doing this, and I'm sure it's perfectly good. Um, I think I'm tempted in my head to do 150 times 10 and 150 times 2. In other words, I'm going to partition this number here into 10 and 2. And I'm going to think to myself, 150 times 10 is 1,500. And I'm thinking to myself, 150 times 2 is 300. And if I add those together, that tells me that my 12 150-degree angles are going to add up to 1,800 
degrees. And therefore, that's what I think the interior angles are going to add up to. Okay, well, there, there's a classic polygons problem solved for you, just using the knowledge that the exterior angles add up to 360 degrees. Um, I just want to come back now to um, our red bullet point here, 180N minus 360. Let's write it out again here. 180N minus 360. This actually is a formula that relates to the interior angles of shape. And this formula actually is a way of telling you how you can work out what the interior angles of your shape are going to add up to. And in this formula, n is the number of sides or angles in your shape. Um, so in other words, 180n minus 360 means uh, that if you find the number of sides in your shape, that's n, by 180, and take away 360, that will give you the sum of the interior angles. And let's explain why. Uh, let's start with an equilateral triangle. Not the finest equilateral triangle you've ever seen, but it is nonetheless an equilateral triangle because it's got that. Um, oh, let's move on. Uh -huh, uh -huh. La, la, la. So, it's an equilateral triangle. It has three interior angles and three exterior angles. And at each point on our triangle, each corner on our triangle, we have created, by drawing the exterior angle, a straight line. So we have three points here where each set of angles add up to 180 degrees. We have three straight lines. We have three lots of 180 degrees. And that's where the 180 times n comes from. Because when we draw in the exterior angles of our shape, we create 180 degree angles. We create straight lines. So in this case, n is equal to 3. There are three uh, sides, three angles. So 180 times 3 the interior and exterior angles of this shape add up to 180 times 3, 318 to 54, so this is 540 degrees. So our red angles here add up to 540 degrees. Where do we get this bit from, the minus 360 degrees? Well, the answer is this. The 540 degrees I've got there is the sum of the interior and exterior angles. It's what we get when we add... 180 and 180 and 180. But if we want just to find the interior angles, that's these ones here, 2, 3, then we need to take away from our total of 540, we need to take away the exterior angles. And that's when we come back to our original point, which is the knowledge that the sum of exterior angles is 360 degrees, always, at all times. So that's why we take away 360 in this situation here. Our interior and exterior angles here add up to 540. The exterior angles, uh, naturally enough, add up to 360. And if we take 360 away from uh, 540, we get this. 0 minus 0 is 0. 4 minus 6, or let's borrow it from the next column along, to give us 14 minus 6 is 8, and 4 minus 3 is 1. That means that we're saying here that the interior angles of our equilateral triangle will add up to 180 degrees. And if you know anything about triangles, you'll know that that's right. You know that the interior angles of a triangle do add up to 180 degrees, which tends to suggest we're onto a winner here. Let's do it with a different shape. Um, let's draw... Yeah, go on, why not? Let's have a hexagon. Here it is. Fantastic. There's a hexagon. If we draw on... One, two, three, four... Five, six exterior angles, there they are. To be honest, it doesn't matter whether the shape is uh, regular or irregular here, does it? Because the exterior angles are still going to add up to 360. Um, anyway, by adding on the exterior angles here, what we've created is uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, I can't draw anymore, what's wrong with me? 5 and 6 uh, straight lines. So we've got between the interior and exterior angles, six lots of 180 degrees. Uh, six lots of 100 are 600, and six lots of 80 are 480, so I reckon we've got 1080 degrees worth of angle there. Uh, if I want to work out what the interior angles are, I have to take the exterior angles away from that. And what are the exterior angles always add up to in a polygon? That's right, they always add up to 360 degrees which means I'll take away 360 degrees from this to find out what's left, and what's left will be my interior angles. 8 minus 6 is 2, 10 minus 3 is 7. In this case here, 
with my hexagon, and I find that the exterior angles of the interior angles of my hexagon will add up to 720 degrees. Do you want something interesting? Yeah, I bet you do. There's another way you can prove that. There's another way you can show that the interior angles add to, three, to 720, and it's to do with triangles, in fact. It's to do with triangles. If I draw a line there, I make a triangle inside the shape. And another one here creates another triangle, and another one here creates two more triangles within my hexagon. I've got one, two, three, four triangles in that hexagon. What do the angles in a triangle always add up to? That's right, 180 degrees. Well done. Uh, and I've got four of those inside my hexagon, which means the angles inside my hexagon must add up to four lots of 180 degrees. And actually it's true, um, because four times 100 is 400, and four times 80 is 320, and 400 and 320 add up to 720. Oops, 720. So there's another way of um, showing that uh, the answer on the right is correct. If you split the, angle, split the shape into triangles uh, and add up those angles, then you get the same answer. Um, but the fundamental point um, about this is that this formula here, 180n minus 360, is a uh, relatively quick and easy way of working out the sum of the interior angles. If I tell you the shape has 10 sides and ask you what the inside interior angles are up to, you can do 180 times 10 and take away 360 straight away, no questions asked. If it's got 20 sides, 180 times 20, and then take away 360. If it's got 734 sides, 180 times 734, take away 360, and that's what the angles will add up to. It's as simple as that.